be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? You told Swante, you've ruined the game. Oh my god, I can't get open anymore. People don't have to put their hands up. You nerf guards. You didn't nerf stretches. You nerf guards. Swante, you're such an idiot. Oh my god, why did you only say the shotgun test? Even though you didn't. Look, Swante, my guards nerfed. Look, oh my god, you can't get a oh my god. How are you still getting open shots, Swante? Oh my god, none of this makes sense. I can't get open. You ruined the game, Swante. I can't create enough space because I'm ass, Swante. Kill yourself, Swante. Why is all this saying open for me? Because I know how to get open? Hmm. Open? Hmm, maybe you guys just can't get open enough and you rely on exploits. Hmm, open? Hmm, these look like open shots to me. Hmm, let's have a look see. Open? Hmm, can you guys actually not get open? Are you guys that trash? You can't create enough space? Hmm. Open? I thought niggas could just sit below the free throw line. We secretly buffed Stretch Biggs. What? What's good, niggas? So I know a lot of y'all, you want to be fucking high reps with max badges. You ain't got the time to grind this, that, blah, blah, blah. So if you just want to buy an account high overall with max badges and shit, Hit up my man Sports Gaming and also tell him I sent you. And if you want the process to go by faster, my guy, send me proof of that. We'll always send me proof that you hit him. And I, I can make the process go a whole lot faster. You know? Yeah? So, yeah, man, if you want to buy or sell your 2K19 account, hit up Sports. His link will be. And look, I didn't even mention the fact that all stamina needs to increase by a hundred percent because in real life there's a lot of dribblers y'all ever heard of and one harlem globe trotters or nba players when they dribble they don't get tired they run up and down the court all game and just they're all so fast all these guards they have unlimited stamina and all but but in 2k man you do three dribble moves all of a sudden you have asthma nah man you know stamina control needs to not be a thing okay what they really need to do it might sound crazy to y'all but in the best two k's what was it like answer this for me what were the best two k's like unlimited stamina what this allows is for better players to dominate worse players in 2k 16 2k 15 no bombs could compete with other people because of the speed of the game the slower they make the game, the lower the skill gap, okay? Understand that. A lot of these guys, they would not be nowhere decent at this game. If it was like 2K16 and 15 where speed boost was fast as shit. Movement, fast. All this movement and, and, and shooters and all this. The faster the game, the bigger the skill gap, the more niggas can't keep up. With this stamina, what has happened is they make the game slower and slower, and you have to wait, and oh, you only do that much move, and then you gotta, and then it's not, you're always going high speed. Basketball is not a slow game. It's extremely fast, okay? Little kids can sit there and dribble. They can do all types of shit. A lot of dribbling moves that's in the game is unrealistic, like how it's carrying you and moving you and all that, but if they implemented real dribbling, you would be way faster than what you are in this game right now. You should not be able to move at the same speed as a center. My guard, stand up in the comments. Put the guard in the comment. Say I'm a PG. That, that's all I wanted to say. Now let, let's get into the video, bro. This is a very important video. So make sure you like this shit. You share it to everyone. It is the savior of 2K. 
this motherfucking self. I got a lot of shit to talk about. I got a lot of niggas to body bag. So y'all be sure to watch this full goddamn video. And if you new, make sure you subscribe. Let's get 210K by next Friday or some shit. I don't care. But look, listen, I got a lot of shit to say. I'm going to get into the mechanics on how to fix the game completely. Everything stated. Body bagging bitch ass niggas. Exposing this nigga. Oh, everyone. Everyone. You catching an L in this video. Okay? If you made it this far, make sure you uh, type second or none in the comments, man. But look. So, my past 10 streams. And I've been MIA recently. But I will return. Okay? Been hella busy doing a lot of crazy ass shit but look listen you know enjoying life but look listen so my past 10 streams or something like that crazy it'll always be mike wayne come back baluba come back please fix the game 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 all in my titles please 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 i'm not cussing them out i'm not calling them nothing you know please come back fix the game don't just leave the game views is high can we get a better game please please keep in mind i don't lose i don't lose i don't need a stretch big i don't need nothing i don't need nothing okay i am a god i don't need a screen i don't need nothing i can go to the stage i can beat this i can beat that i am a god i do not lose i barely you i am a god okay now, it's not no, I'm complaining though, because uh, no, I just want a balanced game. I want a more fun game. Now, look, I'm breaking down a lot of shit. So, four days ago, I tweeted, come back, please, Blueba, okay? He said, what's up, Suante? Eric, the community goes crazy. Lamont's the seen it. He, he is another ISO god. He is like a 94 win percent, ISOing. So all y'all say, ISO don't work, blah, 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 blah. He played comp, I play comp. There's other ISO guys that play the game more than me that have a similar record, and they believe the exact thing I believe. Lamonsta, Steezo. There's other ones out there that have high-ass win percents and a ton of games. So for, for that stupid-ass fucking YouTuber that says, the guys complaining about the game don't even play. Look, bitch, I have a life. I have a life. I can't sit on the game and get 10,000 games every year. Neither can Cole the Man, because I know you're talking about us. But understand, Steezo and LaMonsta is in the same mind realm of us. We are skilled players, okay? So, he, he trying to ev invalidate my argument like I ain't create all this whole meta. Like I'm not the IQ original IQ Grandmaster Sensei. It don't make no sense. So, Lamasa damn near almost 99. So, what you talking about? He believed the same shit I believe. So, shut that shit up. That's an L. Shut your mouth, nigga. Now, look. So, Mike Wang replied to this nigga, right? He said, Shot contest buff coming tomorrow morning. Let me know. Okay. Now... I've gotten over 200 messages of people telling me to kill myself, that I ruined the game, all, all of this shit. And but I've got a lot of way more love and support. You fixed the game, oh my god. Steve was like, thank you, thank you, oh my god, bro. Like no one can score on me now. You know what this patch really did, and it really it needs to be buffed more. It made better players destroy worse players more. Oh, less of that bullshit goes in. That's what I've noticed on here. All my shots are open. And y'all be like, oh, you stand next to him. It's a contest. That's not always true. Get open. A lot of y'all face the reality, okay? Look, if y'all got other builds, it's okay. You don't ISO, it's okay. I still fucks with y'all, you know? I, sometimes I get a little harsh because niggas be talking too much. But look, listen, bro. Y'all just can't get open, bro. It's it's the facts. Now look, now look. The shot contest buff needs to happen even more. And here's why. And I'm gonna get into some more shit, so keep listening, bro. With how the animations are in the game, where you could create all this space and you could be seven foot and you could create all this space and you could zig and jig and all this shit, you have to increase the shot contest. Even though someone might be behind you, or you, he might be a little to the left, or he might not press nothing and be right in front of you. If you increase the shot contest, okay, 
a lot of those zigzaggy, oh, I'm wiggling, oh, oh, jig, jag, jig, dancing around screen shit, they're not going to go in as frequent. Therefore, it reduces the zigzags and the stretch bigs. If you're a bum point guard and you can't create enough space, it, it affects you too. So it affects all bad players. Now look, I think lockdown should be nerfed, but look, th this is just in general. This makes the game better. If you're if you are struggling, it's cause you suck, bro. You you want zigzag in the game. You want to shoot over people. Now look, let me give y'all an example of a real stretch big. Nikolai Mirik, blah blah blah. This guy, his his um look look at his stats. This is a real stretch big. Dirk's not a stretch big. Kevin Durant, they're not stretch bigs. You guys are dumb, bro. Stretch bigs are spot up bitch niggas. That that's how they designed the game. They didn't design the game to have seven foot niggas running around zigzagging, shooting over people. That's not that's that's wasn't the intention. They're supposed to be spot up kids. The same with sharps. But we exploit the game and ruin it. Kyle Corver, spot up bitch. You're supposed to have no athleticism. You're not supposed to be able to be unrippable. You're not supposed to be able to move at the same speed of a of a playmaker, basically. Understand that, bro. And y'all saying, oh, big people, they should always shoot over smaller. Shut up. The in the NBA, you're not gonna find three point percents over 30% like that. Like just just 80% in this game, you're shooting 80% plus off the clip or 100 if you decent and you could just zigzag and shoot over everyone it's not realistic niggas don't throw up that many threes and nobody zigzags so what has to happen is the shot contest buff to stop this you have to reduce the movement and break the movement for zigzaggers and you have to increase the shot contest buff then say bye bye it's harder to patch movement so Therefore, he has to do the shot contest buff. I feel bad for you Pro-Am players because y'all got to face like three lockdowns and shit. But this is for the better of the game, my nigga. Deadass. Now look, people say, oh, we only said shot contest buff. We did it, bro. We said a lot of stuff. Now, I'm going to read my tweets to you, bro. I said, haha, let's go no matter what. Do not revert it back. Shooting in people's face should never be a thing. It ruins the fun and skill gap. A lot of y'all be like, oh, p shooting in people's face is real, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Shooting um, almost uh, shooting 40, 50 percent a game is real, too, nigga. So implement that. You feel me? Oh, chill out, Alexa. Implement that. The, the, the whole thing is you should not be able to zigzag and shoot at that high of a clip, period. Period, nigga. So you got to do what you got to do to change it. Now, look, here, here's what I said. <laughs> Talking to Mike Wayne. I love you, bro. I think you know what time it is, though. The end of Stretch Bigs is now. They've had enough fun these past months. It's time to play real basketball. We shoot over those, meaning shoot over guards like they're not there. Shouldn't be a phrase. Okay? When this doesn't happen in the NBA, a guard, James Harden or whatever. Okay, you might be like, oh, I'm about to cook this nigga. You don't be like, I'm about to shoot over this nigga. What? You don't, you don't think that shit, bro. It, it doesn't make sense, bro. And a lot of the guards, they're some of the best defenders in the league. Niggas aren't being shot over at that good of a frequency. So if you want to, you reduce all that shit, bro. Now, look, here, here's what I said. I got a lot of ideas to end all this shit. I said, this and pushing needs to go, okay? Zigzag needs to go also. Put that 2K15 molasses shit and make sure it doesn't affect dribbling. Just zigzag. All the archetypes need to drop the ball. They shouldn't be able to do moving cross normal three or the behind the back. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Look. Look, I'm going to show y'all some shit, bro. Look at this. Look at this. So, essentially, essentially, you're moving at the same speed as a point guard because you could do normal three. Look at this. This is the same speed a point guard gets, 
basically for for speed boosting so and you can do this too and you could just take it up the court you could be a pg and you're seven foot and you can zigzag and shoot over people look look you could do this so after you master this you can move at the same speed as a point guard it's like what's the point now look also zigzagging is more efficient than dribbling you get burst and you travel look at this you can zigzag behind a hall of fame um brick waller you're seven foot boom look at that <laughs> you could just uh uh zigzag and you don't lose the ball bro you can just keep doing this over and over if they create molasses if they make it to where normal three these these glitched animations can no longer happen it would nerf all these stretch bigs they shouldn't be able to do this a lot of builds shouldn't be able to do this they, it's like they basically have the glitched animations on like every other year he didn't attend for niggas you shouldn't be able to do this as a stretch big no builds that don't have dribbling should be able to do anything bro like dead ass bro look at this you're moving at the same speed in your seven foot bro it's, it, I'm not complaining because I'm losing I'm passionate for basketball and just competitive gaming dog look at this Th this is what niggas are getting on doing zigzag imagine playing 4,000 5,000 games guarding this or playing like this come on bro this is not basketball I don't care y'all little kids like no bro this is not basketball bro I don't give a fuck. I'm going to complain. I'm going to keep complaining until niggas fix this. And you want to know what niggas is really doing, bro? Off the inbound. This is all the people that stick up for stretch bigs. All these YouTubers. Bro, comment under all this shit and just say, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Fuck all these niggas, bro. They're ruining the game. When you support stretch bigs in any way, that makes it to where Mike Wang is not going to fix the game at all. Because... You have an influence. We all have influences. Y'all think this buff would have happened if I didn't make Mike Wayne come back? So when you support all this stretch big shit, and then I have my guys, and most people in the community use screens and zigzag, what you think is going to happen? They're going to leave it the same, bro. So a lot of these YouTubers, everyone, bro, they're ruining the game, okay? Look at this. You don't ever see these stretch bigs complain about this, bro. They want this in the game. They they be like, you complain because you don't want to. You 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 suck. You're losing, even though you have a high ass 80 win percent. You can't guard a stretch big. Look at this. None of this is real basketball. Fuck out of here. All this shit. You should lose hella stamina when you are a fucking like a, just a stretch big. Look look at the stats on the nigga, bro. You guys are exploiting the game, and then you could do animations and burst. All this shit is corny fuck nigga shit. You grab the ball and you zigzag. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so good at the game. Look at look how I play. I grab the ball and zigzag. Oh my god. Look, bro. Look at this, bro. Look how niggas, look how these niggas play. Look at this. None of this is real. Sharpshooters are spot up niggas. They they No. All this needs to go. Okay? Also, people need to be able to move off the inbound, bro. And here's another thing that needs to be patched. A reason why stretch bigs are so dominant or centers in general are so dominant. Comp stage centers running three lineup, three centers because they're so dominant. Hands up defense is one of the reasons, okay? Hands up defense must be patched. This is what I said to him. You can make it to where you never get broken, so it's basically pointless to be a playmaker and dribble. Make it to where people can still get broke. This will promote skill and not zigzag players to win more. Now, look, I know a lot of y'all complain about ankle breakers and all this and all that. I understand it. I don't want a lot of ankle breakers. But in the game to have balance, you have to increase ankle breakers. Because what people are doing is they're running three and double centers and there, there's no there's no benefit a stretch big can basically play better d than a guard understand that shit bro because they're big as shit they're big that's not real guards play better d than stretch bigs in real life okay 
when you have your hands up you get ankle break ankle broke way more less often so therefore this promotes people to rather than getting a playmaker and dribbling they get a stretch big and they zigzag and they do all this other shit because they have hall of fame shooting badges and they're basically a seven foot playmaker what so in a game where defense is overpowered but at the same time broken this is how you decrease that shit bro guards have to become more op bro that's what it has to be bro if you guys ever play any comp you'll know what i'm talking about a lot of y'all you don't play comps you don't understand if you watch basketball you'll understand it man the basic principle of how i'm trying to get this game and basketball in general is if you don't have a guard you're fucked you lose bad in in any setting in real life you lose if you don't have a guard if you did in 2k16 you lose if you don't have a guard your your center was a liability people could run two guards and all this other shit because centers were too slow now they're fast as shit they move at the same speed and they're big as shit so their contest is big and all that it's not it, it makes the game less enjoyable and it's no longer about skill bro i still like the game it's a lot of improvements and all this and all that i'm just saying things to where the game could it could be way better in 2k16 there were little ankle breakers but the d was amazing and the speed boost was amazing the speed of the game was amazing that's the only way you can have it to where ankle breakers are little the speed boost is fast as shit and bigger players they're so slow that they can't keep up type shit that's how you balance your game you, you can't have it to where little ankle breakers, okay speed boost, and that defender is fast as shit. You can't do it like that, bro. So yeah, bro, man. Hey, man. If y'all made it, if y'all made it this far, bro, comment your favorite nigga from Naruto in the comment section down below. Y'all let me feel how they could make this game better, or y'all let me know. <laughs> what you think should happen to make this game better if y'all think i'm right what y'all think i'm wrong about i know i'm right about everything if y'all let me be a dev i could fix this whole game fly me out for next year 2k20 i'll fix this whole bitch or mike wang you just need to slide in the dms dog dead ass i could fix this whole game you know easily bruh you know uh, there's a lot of problems I know delaying all this other shit, but y'all gotta understand certain shit not gonna be fixed, bro. So it's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Make sure y'all subscribe, like the video if you haven't already. If we get 4,000 likes, I'll drop another vid tomorrow. I'm out this whole breath.